hey beauties welcome back to my channel today will be a hair update i know it's been a long time since i've discussed anything beauty and hair related on this channel but that's okay because today we're going to get into it cutting all on my relaxed hair about to go natural i think it's safe to say i'm fully natural it's, gone. it's all going <laughs> the little straggly hands are all going and I love it. Mm -hmm. It's shorter in the back, of course, because that's how my hair, well, it appears to be shorter. It's more shrinkage in the back, but I'm loving not having those little straggly ends anymore. So yeah, since I've been gone, I was natural for a few years and then I decided back in whatever year I put on the screen that I was going to get a relaxer. So me and my best friend, we got relaxers and I had it like that for maybe, I think I got a touch up maybe once and then I went back to natural. And that was amazing. I'll insert some pictures here on the styles that I did in between that time. but. I quickly realized I really don't want to relax her anymore, like at all. Like I don't like to care for the upkeep when it comes to relaxers. I don't like the chemicals. I don't like the whole process. And even though it might look nice and sleek, like I just really didn't care for it. And it just reminded me that for sure I want to be natural. So from that time when I got my last relaxer or touch up, I transitioned back into nat being natural and it was a pretty good transition. It was a better transition than I had the first time because I knew what works for my hair and what my hair I liked. And yeah, it was pretty smooth selling. Then fast forward to last April, 2019. I'm pretty sure it was April or May. I'll have it on the screen though. I decided that, hey, I want locks. Yep, locks. So that's what I did. I got locks. I went to my hair stylist and she installed some starter locks. And I loved them. But whatever products that it was used was really messing with my scalp. It was causing extreme dangerous. So I had to comb all my starter locks out after like a month. No, it might have been like two weeks. Then I restarted it myself using a two, two strand twist. And I had them in from for about three months, maybe three to four months until last September 2019. I decided I wanted to big chop. So that's what I did. I big chopped and all the pictures will be in here. Hopefully I have the pictures. Yeah, I'll insert them in here somewhere. So yeah, I big chopped and I at first I was like, oh my goodness, what? What should I do with my hair? Like, how am I going to style it? This is a learning curve. Like, I've never, whenever I big chop the first couple times, it was just from, like, I had a lot of growth. I just cut off my relaxed ends. But this time, I completely had a shortcut. And that was very interesting. I, I didn't get acclimated with the products that I wanted to use for, like, wash and goes, which were, like, the easiest things I could do. And then before I knew it, it was winter. And I was like, what the heck am I gonna do with this hair in the winter? Like, what the heck? So pretty much at that time, I was working in production. So I worked in like a plant and it was a lot of bay windows, bay, window, bay doors. Long story short, it was really cold. So I pretty much wore a hat all winter long, unless I was definitely going to an event. And when I did go to an event, I would blow dry my hair with a diffuser. And yeah, that was my experience. And before I knew it, my hair started growing and it was getting nicer. And I pretty much found the products that worked best for me. I'll have those product in a later video. But then I started looking back at pictures around June 
And by then, my hair had grew significantly. I'll make sure I put pictures in here, like I said. And my hair had grew significantly. And I'm like, I was looking back at pictures and I was like, dang, I really like my hair shorter. I want to do it short again. So in August, I wanted the big chop again. All right, so I am about to get my hair cut. This is gonna be my second big chop in a year. Um, I big chop last September. Um, I'll put the date somewhere here, but yeah. There's my hair. Here's how much length I can see, but it's almost like it's so, so much right It's right to my shoulder. And then the front is right by my, right under my eye. Oh, yeah. I'm in my car. I forgot to do this while I'm in the house. I'm so excited. But let me go ahead and go in and I'll see you guys afterwards. So I'm for sure going to keep this length, if not maybe a tad bit shorter for the next year or so. I have a wedding that I'm in next June 2021 and I definitely want my hair to be short for that. Um, so I don't know how long I'm going to rock the shirt cut, but I'm loving it. I love the maintenance. I'm curious to see the techniques that I'm going to do this winter when it comes to my hair care. So you guys look out for that. And please, if you have any suggestions on what you guys do with your TWA in the winter, please list them below because I still haven't perfected it. Like, I just winged it and I, I definitely need some suggestions. But yeah, I'm going to be rocking this hair, this shortcut for at least the next year or two. Um... I do, however, still have plans to get locks because I really do want my locks. Will it be the next, after the next two years? I don't know, we'll see. But for sure, I know for the next year or so, I will be having my TWA and I love it. I love it so much. Um, I'm gonna try to give you a close up. I do have a clip of my hair. Right now it might be a little flaky. I tried a new product and I don't know I was coming up, but curl pattern looks good. Yeah, I do kind of want it more tapered in the back. Maybe, I don't know, because sometimes the back gets a little wonky. I don't know if you can tell. But I want to use some castor oil for my edges, because that's the only thing that's kind of lacking. And I need to practice because I've never been into like laying them baby hair down and all that. I don't know anything about that, so I'm gonna need to practice doing that. But I just love it, it suits me. Yeah, I, I really do love it, and I'm definitely keeping it for at least a year. We'll see. But yeah, guys, I just want to give you that update for those of you who have been subscribed for a while that and saw my recent video, I'm like, mm. Her hair is not on her head, <laughs> or she got very li very little of it. I big chopped, and I'm loving it so far, and I just wanted to update you guys on that. So yeah, um, be on the lookout for some hair care reviews, because I do, I have tried quite a few products in the past year for my DWA, and I wanted to let you guys know what worked for me, what didn't work for me, what I thought was gonna work, what didn't work, all of that. I also brought a few new products from a few, you'll see, you'll see. I'll be testing those out in the coming months because I wanna finish the products I have now before I try something else to see what actually works. So I can let you guys know if it works or not, right? Because that's where a lot of you are here for. You wanna know about the products too that is working for my hair. So yeah, oh, I didn't mention, I think I'm 4C. I'm pretty sure I really have tight coiled hair. So yeah, this is my 4C hair, TWA. It's really shiny too, I love it. I just love it so much. Sorry, I'm gonna stop looking at myself. So I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Um, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updates on when I'm uploading. Um, you should be expecting some reviews coming up very shortly. And make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up to date with me day to day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.